Hey guys, today I'm coming to you to show you a recipe utilizing one of our premium products, the pressure cooker, a microwave pressure cooker, and we're gonna make one pot pasta. All of the ingredients go in here raw, goes in here raw, and then when you put it in the microwave, it comes out and everything's cooked. So I think you're gonna really like this. And there's a lot of ways you can alter this recipe um, to suit your you know, dietary needs or your family's you know, desires, because I know everybody's got an opinion. All right, so the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker is a, um, is a premium product, like I said before. It is comprised of plastic and glass, and that allows the pressure to build up to about nine pounds of pressure within this, this bowl while it's in the microwave cooking. Now, what is a pressure cooker? A pressure cooker uses pressure to cook, okay? So think about your slow cooker. Over time, five to eight hours, whatever's inside gets cooked. Well, in the pressure cooker, you can do in 30 minutes what it takes you five to eight hours to do in your slow cooker. Um, and that's what I love about this because it's quick. I don't have to think ahead. I can put things in frozen, raw, you name it and it's gonna come out cooked in about 30 minutes. Um, you've got a top in the top. It's got a silicone seal here that helps to create a nice, um, a nice sealed environment. You turn it, this is a lock right here. You've got two different, sil different silicone little um, circles here that help to release the pressure as it builds up. And then right here, you've got this little yellow bobber. And when the pressure is built up, it's gonna be raised. And then when it, the pressure is decreased, and it's safe to open after it's done cooking, then this sits down like it is right here. And so that's a visual for you to let you know it's time to open it up and enjoy whatever's inside. And today it's pasta. So, all right, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna lift this up and turn it in order to take the seal off. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting our pasta in first. And so I have eight ounces of rotini pasta. It does not matter what type of pasta you use. You can use penne, you can break up some spaghetti, you can do elbow, it doesn't matter. Um, and so I just pop this in here. This is whole, whole wheat that I like to use. Um, then I've got my, my uh, hamburger. We're gonna call this hamburger. So when I come home from the grocery store, I separate my hamburger out in like little one pound um, groupings and I freeze it, okay, in the freezer mates. So I am just going to crumble this up make sure you can see that and um that way it's it's already broken up so i'm gonna actually crumble it up right here with my hands in here it's coming apart really nice um i typically buy like 90 percent lean um so you know totally up to you preferences everything but you know what when you're making the foods yourself you get to choose so so that's pretty fly all right so there we go. All of this is dishwasher safe. And so now I've got that on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have an onion and I am going to just quarter this. Um, it's not a full onion, it's about half an onion. Then I have two garlic cloves and I put that, and I'm gonna put this in the chop and prep. Um, this is a one cup capacity. So this is great for small jobs, which is what we're doing. And then remember, it's like, I'm afraid it's gonna slip out of my hand. Um, it's like a lawnmower and I'm chopping everything up. And I can shake it up just to make sure that everything's good. And then I am going to, look at that, look at that. I didn't pull it but so many times. And I can take, it's, it's a tri-blade here. It's got three blades on it. Be careful, they are very sharp. Um, and so I'm gonna dump this in. And we really truly are just dumping. Um, everything and this is the silicone spatula that I'm using Ooh, oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Um, and so oh I'm starting to cry I can feel my eyes burning oh. okay, one of the downsides of cooking all right um, what am I doing this is the chef knife just so you know it comes with a nice little sheet you also can get a knife sharpener um, stackable cutting board I am um, oh, so sorry, I'm getting emotional while doing this. And I really, I do, I have a tear. You guys see the tear falling. Oh, I shouldn't be crying while I'm making meals. Um, this is an Italian blend that I make. Uh, and Tupperware has a whole bunch of recipes 
for different seasonings. And so, so I'm doing a tablespoon of this with my measuring spoons. What's so great about the measuring spoons? What's so great is the measurements are etched. Oh, I can feel the tear running down. Um, are etched into the handle. Why do you care about your measurement being etched into the handle, you ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Because you don't have to worry about other um, companies that paint the measurements on their handle and over time that paint comes off. Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you. I used to have ones I'd have to compare the one to the other to try to figure out which one was the tablespoon and which one was not. Um, didn't know what that ever other one ever was, but yeah. So they also all click together. So this is nice. Measuring cups are the same. It's etched in the handle. Pretty sweet. All right. So we've got that. And the last thing we have, this is a large spice shaker, um, is we're going to do 24 ounces of Spaghetti sauce. All right, I'm gonna try to get as much of this spaghetti sauce out as possible because you guys know that stuff likes to stick in. And so your silicone spatula is great for this job as well. And my goal is to not get any on my shirt because you guys know Murphy's Law. You're wearing a white shirt, guess what? It's not going to be white when you're done. I think that's good. I'm going to tempt fate if I continue. And then, so I got that covered. I've got a cup of beef broth. Oh. All right. And we're about at the line. I might've pushed it in a little bit. There's a fill line. Um, but I think once everything settles, we'll be good. So that beef broth and the, um, the moisture, you know, the, the liquid that's in the tomato sauce is going to help to cook the pasta as well as the hamburger. And all of that's gonna get heated up and it's gonna be pure yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave for 20 minutes and then when it depressurizes, and it'll take about maybe five minutes to depressurize, then you guys will see the finished product. Hey guys, I'm back. All right, so 20 minutes in the microwave and then some time to depressurize and we're good, it's quiet. So that's good. The little bobber is down. That's my visual that it's ready to open up. Now it's going to be hot, guys. So, and I want you to know that these, they're not cool. They're warm to the touch, but I can get it out and not feel like, you know, I need hot, you know, uh, hot pads or whatever for my fingers. All right. So this lock is down. So I'm going to lift that up and then I'm going to put my hand on either side. Now this is warm. So this is a quick turn because it is turned. And so we got an arrow right here and we want to turn to the left so it lines up with the arrow on the bottom and we're done. And now we're going to open away from us because there's a nice little facial action that goes on. A lot of steam that comes up. All right. So do you see all that steam that just went up? All right. So let's see what we've got here. Let's mix this up and grab a serving spoon. You can see what it looks like untouched. All right. And now, do you see what's happening as I turn it all? Everything is cooked together. So that pasta is nice and cooked. The meat is nice and cooked. And I am gonna mix it up and we can sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it or whatever kind of cheese you want. If you've got some fresh basil that you wanna put on it, man, it is up to you. I know what my kids would do. They would put some black olives. We are just olive lovers, and um, and that's what they would do. But look how yummy this is. And the pasta has sucked in that flavor. And in the pressure cooker, what it is is all the flavors are infused. And so it just makes it so much more yummy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy a bowl of this. And thank you so much.